Aww, animals. Indonesian woman gulped down by massive python. An Indonesian woman who went missing last week was unfortunately discovered in the stomach of a 23-foot python. According to the AFP, 54-year-old Watiba went missing Thursday night while taking care of her vegetable garden. When she failed to come back from her garden, around 100 villagers and family members went looking for her. They found the 7-meter-long python about 30 meters from Tiba's sandals and machete. Residents killed the python and found Tiba had been swallowed head first and her body was discovered intact. Giant pythons have been known to take down small animals, but attacks on people are rare. Guess that's not really important to Tiba. More crazy animal stories. Large predators are reclaiming lost hunting grounds. Yay for large predators, unless you're unlucky enough to get eaten by one. According to Duke University researchers in a press release, large predator sightings such as alligators on the beach, killer whales in rivers, and mountain lions in open fields are a sign that local populations have rebounded thanks to conservation efforts. The study, published in the journal Current Biology, found that alligators and sea otters were actually recolonizing ecosystems that had been prime hunting grounds before humans decimated their populations. Duke scientists say alligators, sea otters, river otters, gray whales, gray wolves, mountain lions, orangutans, and bald eagle populations were either as abundant or more abundant in novel habitats than in traditional ones. Rebounding numbers have shown that several large predators once thought to be highly habitat-specific are actually quite adaptable. Dirty old birds show changes in U.S. air pollution. Researchers analyzed the amount of soot on birds in museums from Rust Belt cities to track air pollution in the U.S. over the last 135 years. A new paper shows the discoloration of birds in museum collections can be used to estimate the amount of black carbon air over time. Researchers sampled over a thousand birds collected over the last 135 years to find out and quantify the effects of soot in the air in Rust Belt cities like Chicago, Detroit, and Pittsburgh. To track changes in sootiness, the scientists photograph the birds and measure the light reflected off of them. They found that older birds were dirtier and new birds were cleaner. The team discovered that soot on birds closely tracks the use of coal over time. Researchers also pointed out that even though newer birds are cleaner, it doesn't necessarily mean U.S. air is less polluted. Many of the pollutants released into the atmosphere today aren't as easily tracked as soot. United keeps sending dogs to the wrong cities. United has been on a roll when it comes to pets. United Flight 3996 from Newark to St. Louis actually had to be diverted last Thursday because the geniuses found a dog that was accidentally aboard the plane. The four-legged flyer was supposed to be flying to Akron, Ohio, but was put on the wrong flight to St. Louis. The plane then had to take an extra two-hour detour to drop the pup off in Akron to its owners. The airline's blender turned a two-hour trip into a four-hour escapade for the passengers, who were compensated for the delay, hopefully not with another free United flight. Last week wasn't the best for United. They also suffocated a lady's French bulldog puppy and sent another dog to Japan instead of Kansas. United needs to seriously consider carrying only pets from now on. <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong? Bird in cockpit forces Delta flight to turn around. A Hotlanta-bound Delta flight was forced to hang a Yui after the crew found a bird flying around the cockpit. Before the flight, the pilot happened to see a sparrow board the plane, causing the flight to be delayed as crew and maintenance workers searched for the little feathered fellow. After a delay and an unsuccessful search attempt, the pilot decided to take off. Wouldn't you know it, shortly after the aircraft took off, the sparrow reappeared again in the cockpit, so the pilot decided to turn the plane back around. After getting back to Detroit Metro Airport, crews were finally able to grab the little guy and get him off the plane. In the end, after a considerable delay, the flight eventually made its way down to Atlanta. No word on what airline the Sparrow ended up taking. Wait, this isn't Kansas. United Airlines mistakenly shipped one family's dog halfway across the globe, their second pet-related mishap in just a week. Kara Swindle and her family were moving to Wichita and booked United tickets to fly from Oregon to Kansas City. Their German Shepherd, Ergo, was too big to be in the cabin with them and had to be flown in as cargo on a separate flight. But when they got to the cargo facility in Kansas, the Swindles were shocked to find a huge Great Dane waiting for them, with Ergo nowhere to be found. 
The airline eventually figured out that the 10-year-old dog had mistakenly been sent on a 16-hour flight to Japan instead of the Great Dane. Supposedly, someone from the pet resort at Denver Airport let the two canines out during a stopover and then put them back in the wrong kennels. Idiot. Ergo has been checked by a vet in Japan and was put on a plane back to Kansas on Wednesday night. Here's hoping that poor dog doesn't get separated again. United shoves dog in overhead bin and it ends badly for the pooch. United knows how to treat its customers. A dog passed away on a United Airlines flight from H-Town to the Big Apple on Monday after a flight attendant ordered the animal to be shoved into an overhead bin. Witnesses said the woman's dog carrier was sticking into the aisle, so a kind, thoughtful United flight attendant told her to stow the carrier and her pooch in the overhead compartment. During the flight, other passengers said they heard the dog barking. Unfortunately, after arriving in New York, it was no longer barking because it died. The dog's owner responded by collapsing to the ground in the aisle and bawling her eyes out. United apologized on Tuesday and said it's paying for the dog's necropsy and is refunding the tickets. Aw, how sweet. It also noted that pets should never be put into the overhead storage compartment. Well, almost never.